A uh, process I've found through working on other big projects. I've ended up calling it uh, a sort of toolbox, toolbox system. I try to find a language, a sound world, some core answers almost predictively before the response to picture. Uh, or at the very least, it could be response to the your very first viewing of the film as a whole, certainly not a response to a scene. A toolbox actually could be any type of sonic processing. In the case of Mauritanian, it became more about processing uh, Rob Ames's violas in uh, interesting ways. I th at the first point of call was Couch's theme. We had this quirky riff, uh, and so to start with, we recorded it as written, which you know, it had sort of four or five different interlocking kind of, I sort of think of them as like hocketing parts going on. We just sort of start to deconstruct that a bit, really. You know, it can be simple, it can be, you know, let's try that. We try it in different tempos, different keys, lots of different articulations, compress the time signature, elongate it, you know, move it into a, a lopsided waltz or something more martial. This is the risk-taking part because it's very instinctual and taking a punt on what the sound world could be. Do those recordings and start manipulating them, really. The toolbox is just a, a conceptual idea. In Mauritanian, it became very much about that, you know, and uh, we ended up doing things like you know, scoring arrangements for multiple robs, but knowing that the lower parts needed to be played at twice the speed, so that when 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 they were pitched down, you know, essentially they were very sped down, you know, like old tape machine style, they would everything would play back in time. So not only was that an important part of the way couch uh unraveled, um, it was also became very useful at the most, um, to, to use a to use a Rob Rob word, the most gnarly recordings became very purposeful for the Guantanamo world as well. <laughs> 